When Scott Parker's side AFC Bournemouth got promoted back to the English Premier League, it was absolute pandemonium at the Vitality Stadium. For the behind-the-scenes crew, it was the beginning of an exciting journey to take brand Bournemouth to the people across the world. Yeah, we uh, back in Bournemouth, we are the community department, the Community Sports Trust, and we run a number of different projects in our local area. And over the course of time, we've expanded and um, developed um, international projects as well. And through our partnership with uh, Switched On Christian, it's brought us out to South Africa. And we've been working in schools, delivering some football sessions. And as I say, a real privilege to be here today, looking at some community projects. So Bournemouth is in the Premier Soccer League. So Liverpool, Manchester United, Southern League. So what an honor and a privilege it is to have them with wow. us. Wow. Yeah, so what an honor and a privilege uh, uh, for us to host uh, AFC Bournemouth. As you know, they've been promoted back into the Premier League and they've come out to be with us in the community. They came to a couple of our projects as Humanitarian Empowerment Fund and they're looking at taking hands with us on the way forward. We are the head of Bournemouth Community Development, Steve Cuss, and uh, they, they're into sustainability of communities, not giving handouts but teaching people to fish. That's what they're doing in the UK and they want to extend the operations into South Africa. So he's not from Westbury, in UK, so my place called Freiburg. <laughs> My wife is from here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is something HAF has been doing, but now they actually playing my game. They're bringing uh, Bormut out here and start collaborating in terms of social projects, projects that we are doing outside of the stadiums, of the field of play, where we see the need and the hand to help, where HEF is very strong and, you know, we partner with them as the legends, as former players, because these are communities where some of our players come from. Yeah, Stanton, Frederick, Stiga, Fabian McCarthy, the guys are really supportive. They're working closely with us, with uh, Global United FC, GUFC, and uh, Matthew Booth. All the guys have been very supportive in giving back into to the community and we're looking forward to taking more ends with the legends. We're always excited to be working with community groups. It's our passion, it's what we do on a daily basis. Um, back in Bournemouth, we're, we're working in many different schools and working with many different organisations, trying to improve people's lives and offer sport as a way forward to help people. There can be no denying the mammoth task that lies ahead when it comes to eradicating poverty in our communities. The Humanitarian Empowerment Fund has been working tirelessly to make a difference in areas that it operates in. It's through their dedication to the cause that we see a club like AFC Bournemouth in the streets of Westbury. Yeah, we've come here today and we've just looked at some community projects and it's really humbling for us to see the work that's going on here. The bakery where the children are coming in and picking up their food and having their sandwiches that will take them through the day. It's so important. You know, we see it back in Bournemouth as well. The importance of having food sets you up for the day and really can make sure you achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah, that's better. I had a go at bakery. I'll probably have to um, uh, stick to my day job and uh, carry on football coaching. But it was just, like I say, a real pleasure to see that and work that goes on. And yeah, the bakery in full swing. It was good. <laughs> good work. <laughs> and then we saw the music project as well, which was really fantastic. So you have to consider this to be your A section and now your B section is starting. So in other words, this was verse one. Now the chorus is starting, you understand? We had a little uh, song sung to us and uh, the group were a little bit nervous, but they really did well and it was nice to see and so we're so grateful to be here to be able to, to witness this firsthand. There's my three, there's my and, and that's my four. I wrote it out now for you. For me, I just want to say to Bournemouth FC, congratulations. The South Coast Club return to the promised land of the Premier League. Welcome back to the EPL and please do me a favour. Just beat Liverpool and then from there we will talk about another thing and, uh, and I mean it, it's so exciting what they are doing. They're not looking at the field of play, the stadium, the limelight, they're going down there, they're digging deep, they're going to the grassroots, they plant the seed and then from that seed who knows. I'm being privileged, I'm being honoured and I'm looking forward to see the coaching clinic later on if they go to Zenzele. After spending time listening to inspiring tunes and baking bread, Steve and his team took a drive to Zenzele community to deliver a football kit to a local club. <laughs> it's always the last time. <laughs> 
To say the boys look smashing would be an understatement. Yeah, German Kali's FC got this uh, uh, kit now from Bournemouth. And you know what's so profound? They're playing in the top four semi-finals and finals now the weekend. So they got this kit to put on now and it's a Premier League club. I mean, it's huge. Imagine how they're going to stand out this weekend. They must just win the title. They've met with people that lives have been transformed. We know we can't change a whole community, but we can change the community one person at a time. Now we're off to the King's School to a soccer clinic, in which they're going to be spending three hours to impart of their skills to our kids at our school, at the King's School. This is huge. When all is said and done, AFC Bournemouth rub shoulders with the big guns of the world, week in and out. It was only fitting for their coaches to give aspiring footballers an opportunity to learn a thing or two about what it takes to be a Premier League player. Yeah, I think it's really important for a, a football club to have its identity. And what I mean by that is like a style of play, what they're trying to do. I think it really brings the fans close together to the team. A lot of the Premier League teams are possession-based and uh, Bournemouth are no different. We try and control the game and try and um, dominate possession. And um, we tried to do that in our practices with the players that we had here today. Tried to show them how we work with the players to enhance their skills, to be able to keep the ball, pass it, and in particular receive the ball under pressure. So it's really about trying to have an identity as a team and a style of play and then adapt your coaching sessions towards that. The weight of the pass will be important and then we'll start to work on some other aspects of it, okay? So reds, you're going to open up and play with that ball, okay? Blues, or the navy, yeah, dark blue there, you've got that ball, greens, this is your ball, okay? Let's go, let's go and pass the move, let's go. I think the thing that's really touching is to see a soccer club of this calibre to come down to grassroots and be amongst our people and really have the heart to want to impact communities. It's mind-blowing. I mean, this is the Premier League, if you are upset. It's not just the third division or second division. Look, it's a very great initiative. Like I said, it's not only on the field of play that Bournemouth are involved with. You know, we were in Westbury, you went to Zanzele, you saw where and how they just touching the thing because in EPL teams belongs to a community hence they can come out of Bournemouth and do all these things and do it and it's about these boys what are they taking from this clinic because they can be invited to go to Bournemouth for trial or they can be talked about or they can learn what they learn here and take it into the team and the school so it's a great initiative personally it was an amazing experience I feel as though my teammates as well as me we have actually got to compare ourselves to or actually see what the professionals actually do and we wanted to like we got a taste of the intensity that we needed we got to see if we would make it in the professional life and we got very valuable lessons honestly that for me is the thing that inspires me to do what i'm doing and we 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 going after those that want to be helped those that god puts along our path you know and to get them out of the ghettos our kids are really encouraged and the Bournemouth guys what i took out of them is that they've heard of south africa i think 80 percent of them is the first time here they heard about but they really seen south africa and our people the compassion we have you know the ubuntu we have here i think that for them is touching Initiatives like these will go a long way in creating a special place for AFC Bournemouth in the hearts and minds of our viewers. These moments have a way of manifesting into huge things. Watch this space.